What's up, guys? I got a 2016 Honda Pilot uh, V6 engine right here. This is not a touring model, so it's all-wheel drive EXL. Starter motor is bad. All it's doing is clicking. The starter motor is right here. You can always hit it, but all it has is two bolts. Let me show you the starter here. 14 millimeter, 12 millimeter, whatever they are, but there's only two bolts. One and two, you got a connector, and you got this 12 millimeter bolt that's live, but you do need to disconnect the battery. So what you want to do is you want to disconnect the battery. You could take the positive or negative off. So I'm going to take one of the terminals off. Your radio is going to lock, okay? So make sure you pay attention that you do not go crazy. And uh, later on, your radio is locked if you have a, na a navigation code. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this starter, okay? So what I'm using here is a Remy. This is the part number. It's almost like a $215 starter, but it gives you a lifetime guarantee. Long as you have the car, your starter is warranted. So that's what we're going to put into this. Yeah, to begin, just to let you know, you are supposed to have a cover over here. That cover just pulls off. So you see these clips? You just grab it from one end, just click, 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 click. It comes right off. But you, we don't, we're missing that on this vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this guy. We're going to disconnect this guy right here. do next is we're gonna disconnect this guy I did loosen this up but it doesn't want to come out all the way so just loosen it up a little bit more you can even take this guy off ah, it broke it's supposed to turn off okay just pull it it's all good let's take this guy off so battery disconnected and once you take this guy off you do need to take off this little guy from bottom here because uh, the battery is held in by this tray. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna remove this guy. Whoa, how deep is this? Is there something inside my socket? There's something in there. But we're gonna give it another try. So they're just hooks on both sides, just like this one you can see clearly right there. It's the same thing on the opposite side. Right here also. And once you do that, this guy should come right off. Just throw it right there. And you do have a little fan here, so you do need to disconnect this little guy right here. Okay, what we're gonna do is let's take off the terminal here. There's so many wires just hanging on this guy. Whoever did the alarm system on this little guy. But I uh, am we got a HID system over here, so there's no space. So I'm going to disconnect this. So we're going to disconnect this little guy. Okay, so I don't know where this wiring is going. But it's wild and crazy. So what we're going to do is... Let's... Oh, they put it right through the sensor as well. So, you know what? Let's disconnect right here. Let's clear out that line. So this harness can just go right through. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up this, this thing is gonna just like two covers here so one on top of another so the battery it has a case just like that so what I want to do is I'm gonna move this battery towards one side because you see they put this system here and I can't get to the sensor no more Connector in the back. Just a connector. Just push on that and disconnect the sensor. There you go. I have this off. So we're gonna push all this to the side, and this tray should be able to come up, unless it's held in by something else. I doubt it. Okay, this horn is over here. Okay. Working with one hand. So this our the harness was clicking over here. So this is the little fan that keeps the battery nice and cool. Let's put this to the side. Okay, so this is gonna stay here, all this stuff, and we have our starter over here. So what you wanna do is you wanna this one pin connector here, just push on this tab here. And you should be able to get this connector out just like that. And then you want to rip this guy open, not rip, I don't mean like rip it, but just peel this open. It's a little boot cover here. 
and you have a bolt down below it's like a 12 millimeter and after that all you have left is uh, the two bolts that's holding the starter in okay what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this 12 millimeter this is a 12 millimeter socket here we're gonna loosen up this bolt The hardest part is gonna be trying to get the two bolts out on this starter, which you're gonna have to fish it out. But they're gonna be hard to see as well. But there you go. We got the 12 out. Take this starter cable. This is if you don't disconnect the battery, this cable is hot. It, it's live all times. So now we need to figure out how we're gonna get to the two bolts that's on, on this starter. So, anyways, uh, next step you might not see it, but there's only two bolts holding the starter in, like I showed you, this and this. I'll show you the tools once it's all out. So you got one bolt right there in that angle. You are gonna have to remove this harness a little bit right there. Yeah, but you got the bolt right there, and the other one is on this end right there. So I'm gonna take them both off, and the starter should just come out. So this is what it look like. I got this bolt tie, it's a long bolt. So this is the extension I use. It's about like an inch and a quarter inch long. Okay, within a two minutes, I got the second bolt out. Use a, I added another two inch of extension, so it's like three inches long extension here with the 14 millimeter right from up here. Okay, right from the top. Now, what we're gonna do is you see this starter, it has this little metal bracket here. This pipe is on it, so we might have to uh disconnect this and we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna pull out this starter. So, the starter, unless you want to take off this tray, but you shouldn't have to because you see, you have plenty of room right here for the starter. To come right out just be careful with the pipe because I'm using hand I don't have I'm only have using one hand but it's your starter it is gonna have this black glitter shim here so we might have to reuse this we'll see if the new one has it if not we're gonna reuse this so we got our new starter here and what you want to do is you want to check make sure everything is same the connector the harness and this little guy like i said did not come with it so we're gonna reuse it this will fall off on you so what i like to do is i like to uh, bend these little this little lip here i like to bend it and then it's gonna work like a little holder for it bend it a little bit more if it doesn't work out the first time so you're gonna have to uh, just clip it in there just like that and it should hold itself and here goes nothing there you go all right so we're gonna put this back in so we're gonna simply just take this starter and drop it right in there just like we took it off just make sure that your the shims does not fall out and once it sits in place you could tighten it up we're gonna put that bracket in later okay so I did put the 12 bolt in there the nut on the bolt and we're gonna use this 12 millimeter here okay too much of a extension okay so the next step is you're gonna tighten this guy really good don't go crazy because you don't want to crack the starter just enough okay so one two three and that feels really tight to me right there looks good feels good we're gonna cover it up so nobody short circuit that and the connector goes in and it should click there you go perfect now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the battery in so you're not gonna see this part put in your battery put in make sure you put the connector for the fan positive negative and don't forget that little sensor if you took off and if you took off the ground like me put that right back together so anyways uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna continue in a moment okay so I'm all done I did put in the fan connector over here got the battery in the covers everything is in all I need to do is put the the mount for the battery and this cover right here but if we do want to test the battery sometimes uh since the starter was dead customer plays around with the turn started but he kills the battery then you gotta replace the battery too but let's see what happens after this i'm gonna start it up and hopefully it starts up and the car is running thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe share and like